Previously on Power Slap Road to the Title. <laughs> the first round of the competition delivered nine jaw dropping fights. Damn. Vicious knockouts. <laughs> Devastating losses. Reese! Just beat number three. That's crazy. And only the strongest survive. Oh, there you go! Holy yeah. I'm gonna beat you all alive! How does this even work, bro? Now, new rankings fall into place as the next round of action gets underway. In a special lightweight fight, undefeated mixed martial artist Robert Trujillo heads to the power slap stage. I wake you up in the hospital. My time, baby. To face Anthony Predator Green. You're gonna get your ass knocked out, boy. Wesley, all the smoke drain. I'm gonna have to knock you on your ass. And Emmanuel Muniz face off. I can't wait to slap the out of you, bud. Seeking to bounce back from their losses. Then, new number one middleweight, John the Machine Davis. You better bring the meet when you meet me at the table, son. Hopes to put an end to Jesse Nutting's Cinderella story. I'm the most fun-loving there is. On the line, a coveted spot in the Power Slap Live finale and the first ever title belt. One of the matchups we're really excited to see in the first round of the fights was the rematch between light heavyweights Devin Schwan and Vern Cathy. Devin never got to show us what he's got since he lost the coin toss and went down in the first round during their exhibition fight last year. Unfortunately, something came up in one of our routine health and safety screenings, so I sent Hunter and Frank over to the training center to talk to Devin. We got a medical report back, and you're not going to be medically cleared to compete. Oh. So what we want to do is test you again. Does that make sense? Yeah. So for right now, we're not going to remove you from the house. You're not getting suspended. None of that stuff is happening. Right. But we're going to have you sit out, right. and we're going to get you tested immediately to figure out exactly what this is, see if it's consistent, go from there. OK. Yeah, we just got to stay on the this, this side of caution. We want to make sure that everybody's safe. Yeah. So it's a, just out of an overabundance of caution. We'll figure it out and go from there. OK. Sounds good? Yep. All right, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. I'd cut off a leg right now and use a peg leg to stand there if I could fight Vern. You can amputate whatever the you want. I'll find him with one hand. I want it more than anything in the world. I know you were supposed to slap with Devin, but the yes. reality is Devin wasn't cleared to compete. So we're going to take another week. We're going to try to figure out if we can get Devin cleared, figure out what's going on. So for now, Vern won't be fighting Devin until we know he's cleared. It sucks for Vern, but we take this very seriously and have to make sure that these fighters are always competing on an even playing field. Stay ready, sorry it happened, but just wanted you to understand no. what was going on. No, I understand. Cool. I appreciate you did everything right. You made weight. I know you were yeah, you know, getting down there, sacrificing, so appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, no problem. All right. Awesome. All right, buddy. Oh, no, no, I want it to happen. No, no, no ifs, same or buts. I mean, I, I, I don't want to be, you know, like, oh, well, he just knocked him out the first time, and this is a one-trick pony. Like, I don't want that on my back. Like, I want to do it multiple times. So. Now that the first round of the competition is over, some of the strikers who got injured in their fights are now heading home. When Darius, being the mentor that he is to these guys, heard about that, he insisted on going to the house and uh, saying his goodbyes. Oh. Hey. Let's go, Coach. So I came to the slap house today to check up on the guys, you know, just making sure they're all good and all taken care of. I know. A couple of them, you know, weren't going to be able to stay because of the injuries they, you know, sustained in their fights. But, you know, they're all warriors, you know, they're all gladiators of their own respect. And, you know, I wish a lot of them could stay, but, you know, not everyone gets the privilege and has the ability to be able to make it through the sport. But that's perfectly OK. Hey. This is a ride for damn sure, but I guess I got to go home. Bro, you guys ain't seen the last of me, but no way, because I come in and I come in heavy. I'll rip anybody's chin off the neck. 
I'll sir. catch you later, man. It was a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to have you here, man. You're an absolute I'm warrior. Yeah, you have fun with your daughter, man. Get some work done. <laughs> you know those damn Sparkies. <laughs> hey, Sparkies. You did great, bro. I mean, it. I don't know, man. It just it happens. Dude, it happens, dude. Yeah, you'll, just, you'll be back for more, brother. You'll yeah, be eating. Be back. Tough break, but you're a savage, bro. You, you gained a lot of respect. Obviously, I'm pretty upset about losing. You know, I came here to win the whole thing, and it turns out to be an injury that puts me out for any amount of time. You know, it's not good because, you know, I need my hand. That's how I make money. If I hurt my hand, it's fractured, so I'm just pretty bummed out. Hey, you are you, bro? Right, Wouldn't change it for the world, you know. I would uh, take the opportunity if I had it, if I had the chance to take it again. So I don't no regret. No, I like you, man. You're a cool dude. I like you. I love you too. You will be safe. Have a safe flight. Kiss your wife for me. You hear me? Not for me, but for yourself. Good luck, dude. Andrew, you be safe, brother. I feel like I let my kids down. I'm gonna get back home, I'm gonna see my son, I'm, you know, it is what it is. Ah, damn it, dude. It's definitely an opportunity and a blessing still. Just like so it ended this way, and I got a plan. I wasn't coming to get sent home early, but I'll be back. Damn it, man. This house is gonna be empty. So, now that we have 17 strikers remaining in the house, before we re-rank these fighters for the second round of the competition, we decided to hold a fight between Robert Trujillo and Anthony Green. Both of these guys have struggled to keep weight on since they've been here, so we're gonna have them do a special fight at lightweight, and as the sport grows, We'll start to expand to more divisions, so why not see what these guys have to offer? The lightweight, Anthony Green versus Robert Trujillo. All right, Anthony, you're blue. Robert, you're red. It's literally up to God. If you get that coin toss, you might be able to end someone on the first lap. I mean, you could take probably one of the best fighters in the world and a heavy dude off the streets and that heavy dude off the streets gets the first coin toss, and he might he might beat the MMA dude, you know? Going six on coin tosses. Winner is red. Strike first. Uh, on the scale. Anthony. Anthony Green did not deliver in his exhibition fight against Jules yeah. Scott, but we felt that he deserved another chance. He's been wanting to come back, so we're gonna give him a shot at redemption. 144. Yeah. Robert Trio was scheduled to fight in the slap off elimination fights, but his opponent bailed last second. We know that this kid's got an MMA background, he's a tough kid, so we got him into the house as an alternate, and now let's finally see what he's got. 153. Who do you want? Go time. And two. I'm lucky too. Oh. Yeah, hold that bell. Game day, baby. Taking home number one. I'm pretty confident that I'll beat Robert. I don't think he's got a strong enough chin, and I know he don't have the wind-up like I have. My time, baby. I'm here to win. I feel like I can put him out in the first hit. <laughs> Do it. Robert, we're going to meet at that power slap table, and you're going to get your ass knocked out, boy. We got to see a knockout tonight. Good luck, brother. My confidence is super high because I won the coin toss. Nope, 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 nope. Where do I go? Follow, Follow, the, camera. Follow the camera. Follow the camera. I feel like I can knock out most people. 
this type of sport. It could go any way, but I'm seeing a big win for myself. Well, Anthony Green, I'll wake you up in the hospital and have a toast with you, man. Better center it up. The uh, red corner has won the toss and elected to strike first on what count and what hand? Right on three. Right on three. Go ahead, stand by. Red on three. One, two. Oh, man. That came out three. of nowhere, Robert. Get up, Robert. Four. Get up. Five. Yes, sir. Five. He ain't got nothing. Eight. Nine. Eight and ten. ten. Five and oh. Five Congrats, and oh. brother. What's up? Right Holy <laughs> He got knocked the out. Coming back to you, this is the doctor. He's going to ask you a few questions. Just watch my homeboy get slept. Yeah. Not expecting that. That's all right. That's all right. In your last hit, on, compared to wow. this. I'll give you daps on that one, bro. Your mouth for me? Huh? Hey, how are your, your legs right now? I hear fine, it's just my head and my cheek. Okay. I was hoping to see another round or two. I thought Anthony would do a little better, but I think anybody that's willing to stand up there at that table still deserves praise. Robert had a nice clean hit on him and laid him down. Clean, man. Clean. Robert Trujillo, the way he just destroyed Anthony Green was incredible to watch. The form that he had was just perfect. The way that Anthony Green just went toppling down like a tower, it was very, very satisfying. Winner by knockout, Robert. I'm super excited, I'm hella grateful. I was building that slap up for three weeks already, and I'm so glad I put it on him. We're gonna help you walk down the stairs, okay? I can walk myself. I'm fine. I hate losing, so I'm gonna work on my neck strengthening, work on my jaw. We got a pretty strong jaw, so I thought I'd be able to handle it, but it just sucks not even being able to deliver a slap. What a statement by Robert Trujillo. Again, proving that winning the coin toss is critical. We asked these two to have a special fight at lightweight. Trujillo comes out, sends Green to the floor with one slap, and this is exactly why I wanted to do this fight. I mean, this shows us that we have the potential to expand the divisions down the road as the sport grows, and what a knockout. What? AJ, you're number one, baby. Hey, Zeus, he moved up. Now that we're heading into the next round of the competition, we re-rank the fighters in the four main weight classes based on how they performed so far. In the heavyweight division, Dwayne Crespo moves up to number four after beating Ryan Phillips. In the light heavyweight division, AJ's win was too impressive not to move him up. And, and it wasn't Vern's fault that he couldn't fight after Devin's failed medical test, but AJ shows that he deserves to be the number one guy in that spot for now. Waylon, cross, I'm not trying to but you did a catch weight. You didn't do 205 light heavyweight. I'm aggravated beyond belief because AJ got a pass. They moved him up to number one. They moved me to two, which is perfectly understandable. He's got a couple more fights. You know, they've seen his chin. But from me as a professional aspect, I mean, he's never made weight in the 205 class. Among the welterweights, the top stayed the same, but Jesus Gaspar improved his ranking. And in the middleweight division, John Davis and Azael jump up a few spots with their impressive wins. Die, what's up, die, 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 die. What did I tell him? What did I tell him? Oh, no, 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 hell yeah. Uh, coming for that strap, baby! I wasn't expecting, honestly, to be number two, but it uh, feels amazing just to see my name up there. Um, it's something that um, I'm, I'm, stri I'm aiming for number one, so just I'm, I'm, I'm already pretty much there. The second picks are number, number one, one baby. Number oh, one. Yeah. I am number one. I'm going to stay number one. Let's talk.
um, Daddy's gonna show you that it's all about competition, and uh, and I'll take him out when we get into the ring. Woo! Ah. Damn. Oh. Change that boy! Have a, just seen the rankings. <laughs> You're the number seven seed now. Isaiah jumped up four seeds. Good. Damn, they really give him a lot of credit. So am I number three or number six? You're number, You're six. number six. You went up three. Well, the rest of the fights on the board. Yeah. So I'm above Jesse now? Yeah. yeah. I'm not where I thought I was going to be on the board, you know? So I thought I was going to be number three because I beat number three. So that lets me know my thinking is not accurate and I should not lean on my own understanding. It's cool, though. Huh? I'm number two, dog. I'm <laughs> <laughs> number two, I don't go Hey, keep saying that. I don't go I'm 78 pounder. I'll box your eyes. You got boxing, bro. That's all we're not here for. We're here for no. slapping. It ain't boxing, bro. Let's stick to slapping. I want to how your you face look when you get slapped. What you think is going to happen when one of us punches you? After this, I open. These bitches are love and pain. Bang, bang. I'm telling you, you can't hang with these bitches. I'm gonna rip you the open. That's why I'm number two and slap, bro. And that's what you better stay at. Because anything else, you ain't good at. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> your mindset is up, you know? You like, still like a little boy, you know? That's why I had to let him know you're not no man, dog. You might be of age, but that don't make you a man. Number six, bro, about, you're boy. ranked number six. Stupid ass, sorry I don't give a ass. F about this slap. Number like, two, yeah, you don't want me, bro. Right you now, don't want me at number two, street, dog. Yeah. I've been saying I want you because no. I, want, I feel bad, dog. The boy. You haven't the won in the last six bitch. years, dog. Little boy, you act you like a boy right now. You haven't you won in the like last six years, boy. dog. Hell, I got a personal you haven't won in the last oh. six years. You a whole boy in this bitch. You know what I'm talking about, Bro, boy? Oh, you hear what I'm talking about, boy? That's what I do to boys in this bitch. What, boy? Boy, it's no, it's smart. not, boy. They, Hell, I got a personal you invitation. You have been winning the last six years. You a whole boy in this bitch. You know what I'm talking about, boy? You hear what I'm talking about, boy? That's what I do to boys in this bitch. What boy? What boy? You want some more, little boy? My manhood, I feel like, is on the line. Is being tested by a boy. You know, I got to stand there, and I got to be able to take whatever he's going to If I don't knock him out, I got to be able to take whatever he got. And I'm ready for that. Chill, Come bro. On. You want some more? You want some more, Chill, little boy? Bro. You want some more, little boy? You want some more, little shit? You want some more? Hey, you want some more? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, knock your ass out in this bitch, boy. Some more, little shit. You're right, number six. Some more, little shit. You want I just feel like Kareez that I was just like someone just talking, but I'm a dog, dog. Like I'm here to win this championship. So go in your room. Go to sleep. If you come out of the room, you're being escorted to the hotel, and that's the end. No, I just want my You'll be out of the competition. Because you'll be third time the charm. You got your other one? Right? We talked about it. How many strikes you got already? I know, but I was. All right, big dog. Good night, then. I'm going to find the other one. I'm going to be right here. I'll take you to the hotel. I'll get your other one. I got to find it. Let's go to bed, bro. I'll go to bed. Next match at middleweight. Wesley Drain yeah. versus Emmanuel Muniz. Now that everyone has been ranked, it's time for the last six fights before we decide the final rankings and matchups. The pressure is definitely on. To start, we're matching up Wesley and Emmanuel, two guys coming off losses. This is their last chance. These guys need to lay it all out there, show us something. And because this fight is so huge, it makes the coin toss even that much more important. Red is the winner. I right, hit first. He won the coin toss, so I'm gonna eat his. I'm gonna give it back to him. He went. So Wesley Drain, our number one middleweight at the start of the competition, in a nutty turn of events. He decides to slap with his left hand instead of his dominant right in his first matchup. He ended up making a mess out of the fight, losing to the number seven middleweight, Jesse Nutting, and dropping in the rankings. If he wants to have a future here, he, he, he needs to get together. 
185. Emmanuel lost a decision to Azael, but he did show that he has a really good chin. We have him ranked at number four at middleweight. Let's see if he can rebound from this loss and uh, and beat Wesley. 184. What's up, man? How's it going? Oh, it's your own. What's up, coach? What's up, bro? There you go. Come on, fighting Emmanuel. Like, Emmanuel, that's going to be hard for me to want to rip his head off. I feel like I need to get lower, though. I feel like I don't get low enough. I mean, the coming down part is just to try to generate, you know, as much momentum yeah. as I can coming up. So where y'all were doing it back in March, a couple of y'all were just like this. Yeah, I just came straight across over. Right, instead of coming way down here and trying to get more into it. When I'm getting ready for, for a match, for a fight, like, I want to be as mean and as nasty as possible. Because it genuinely hurts my soul to hurt people. And it's, it's a difficult battle that I face inside myself every time I get out there and do a match it's just to, to hurt somebody, like. I gotta end you, because you're gonna do the same to me. For a couple of the guys, uh, it was an open gym today, just uh, lose those extra few pounds, and then the rest of us kind of just mentally prepare, get those last few technique things in, and then just get, get ready for, for fight day. I think I'll probably stumble him on the first one, if not put him down. I think I'll put him down in the second. I mean, on fight day, I feel really good. I've learned a lot of my technique. This being the second week, I was able to kind of hone in on what I needed to fix and what I needed to do. I'm gonna try to come from like a little bit lower this time. When you feel his face, just start moving your hand where you need to. Nice. It feels great coming into fight day this week, and I'm excited for it. I'm gonna show them all the American bald eagles in my hand. Ah! I'm excited, dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how I think a lot of opportunities will arise. Like I've been telling everybody from the beginning, you know, it's like, if I didn't have responsibilities, I have a backpack walking down the nature trails, like, not giving a about though anything. But, you know, I got responsibilities. And right now, I ain't gonna lie, I'm drowning, kind of, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm barely above water. I'm broke. There's been so many times, man, in these last few years, I go hungry, I'm just like, give me some gas so I can make it to my job. Let me get there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, where I'm from, small little town, it's like, pretty much we'll get the shit in the stick. And you got kids and you like, how are you gonna pay your rent and your bills and everything and still be able to provide for it? You know, people, it's like, it's damn near impossible. It's rough, man. <laughs> Oklahoma. My name is Wesley Drain. I'm from Tahlequah, Oklahoma. It's really no other place I'd rather be. Woo! I do handyman business, I'm electrician, apprentice, and it's a, it's a stepping stone to greater things. They ask how I do it. I say I install the doorknobs. <laughs> I have a, a, a great, noble cause. I made a statement to my children. I say, boom, what's your name? I said, you know, I'm here to win this whole thing, get a belt. I'm gonna walk out of here with a good chunk of change. That's my mission. <laughs> can I see? You can see you messy head, little grim one. You're like, how, if I can't help myself, like, how am I gonna help you? Sometimes I get in my head, it's like, man, you wanna change the world, but it's like, how do you handle this problem right now at your doorstep? Like, dang, I barely can pay my bills and keep food on my own plate, you know? I finally started realizing, like, you got to do for you to do for everybody else. And then you can do it for everybody else, bro. And that's the hardest, that's been my hardest battle. That's the hardest pill to swallow. That's the hard pill to swallow. Like, because if, it, like. Because you got you, you to leave people behind. You got to be somewhat to, selfish. Yeah, you got to be selfish. I really believe that this is going to 
boost me and give me the ability financially where I, where I can make my training sessions, go to the gym, eat right, and not have to worry about life and the burden of always having to figure out how to pay things and take care of individuals. I'm trying to make history in my life. For real, for real, we really them guys now. Literally step by step, play by play, bro. It's wild when like you actually kind of start seeing a little light like, oh, so this is what it's really like, you know what I mean? Like this is when your dreams come true, you know, it's like, for real, bro. For sure, man. It's wild. Got tear on this bitch. I found out that me and Emmanuel were matched up, which honestly it was no surprise to anyone. He got a first round KO. It's quite impressive, honestly. It's probably one of the scariest KOs I've seen so far. <laughs> Holy. He's out! Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! I was like, oh, that boy's got some fire. It kind of excited me, you know? But um, I do see myself getting the KO. Thunder. 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 Yeah, I got one last chance to make a statement against Wes. He's a former number one. He, you know, lost his last match. There you go, There you go! Uh, and I have a good opportunity to go in there, hopefully put him down and make a big statement and get myself back up in the rankings. I'm searching for the KO, I'm gonna get the KO, and that's what I come here to do. I'm gonna have to knock you on your ass, but don't worry, bro. I'll be there to pick you up. One day I wanna be a champion in Power Slap. Uh, of course, you know, I think that's everyone's goal, everyone's end goal. You know, I wanna be a champion, stick around for a good while, and, and continue to move up with this sport and others. Wesley, I uh, love you, man, you're a great person, but I can't wait to slap the out of you, bud. Gentlemen, center. This will be round one, strike one. Red has won the coin toss. Elected to strike. Hand count. Right, two. Every time these guys are about to slap, I'm like on the edge of my seat. Measure. One. There you go. Ooh, there you good blow. You're good. <laughs> Right, hey, you have a minute to recover and slap. <laughs> hand and count. Huh? Hand and count. He will go right hand on two. In the box. Measure. One. Stab. Stab. Good slap. Feet move. Yeah, what's the feet move? They didn't call that. You stop? Yeah. yeah. When we call him over, we just tell him to keep an honest feet, but do it quietly. All right. All right, let's go right on, two. Round two, slap one, right hand on two. Measure. Let's go. One. Ooh, that was a good one, too. That didn't even phase him. Good. Angle your hand. Angle your hand a little bit better. Is it your wrist? Hey, wipe your face. Wipe Friendly. your face. Yeah. Watch your ankle, man. Your ankle came up. I'm surprised it didn't call that. Would y'all watch his feet, please? He Round moved two, on that last one. one. Two. Hand count. Right, two, sir. Right hand on two. Measure. One. Good slap. Yeah, that time he didn't step. You're right, that was good. Wipe your face again. Your wrist. Hey, give it La the, everything you got. One. It's yeah. the last one. Last one. Hand and count. Right two. Round three, slap one. Right hand on two. 
Measure. You gotta have balls of steel to stand there and oh, do this. Yeah. One. Good slap. Good bro. Round three, slap two. Hand count. Right two. Right hand on two. Measure. One. Step. Foul. Striker stepping. That's match. How are you doing? Wesley used his right hand this time. I was much more impressed this week with him with his right hand. Got a point taken away in the third round for stepping. It was a nice, clean match up until that point. Manny, you know, he didn't throw as hard as he could. I think that very first round, he ended up injuring his wrist. And when you're slapping a dude, you know, your hand just goes all the way back as much as it can. No matter what, that doesn't feel good. My wrist actually pops now. Gentlemen, we have a winner by unanimous decision. Red corner. It was a real good match with Wesley. Uh, he, he hits pretty hard and he has a hell of a chin. Uh, I felt pretty comfortable in uh, all three of my, my slaps, so I'm surprised he was able to hold up and I'm proud of him. <laughs> I got knocked pretty hard, bro. I mean, I'm a game opponent. Pay me, give me the best, I'll be there. After ranking Wesley as the number one middleweight initially, he's now lost two straight fights and is obviously headed in the wrong direction. His technique was sloppy and it cost him. Emmanuel was tough, though. He ate Wesley's shots, even with the stepping, and he proved that he may be worthy of a spot in the finale. We're just going to have to see how these other fights play out. Next match at middleweight, John Davis versus Jesse Nutting. John Blue, Jesse Red. I'm not surprised. It's Red. I'll go first. Oh. All right. All right, John. I won the coin toss, and if I get, since I get the first slap, I'm going to make it as effective as possible and stumble him as early as possible so I can get this fight finished the quickest as possible. John the Machine Davis is our new number one middleweight. He's coming off a great knockout win against John Kennedy, where he showed us that he's an all-around serious competitor. 185! Jesse Nutting is on a high right now from beating the former number one middleweight, Wesley Drain. And despite the win, he failed to convince us that, that he's a real contender. So we still have him at number seven in middleweight. So he didn't get the rankings bump he was hoping for. But what better way to prove us wrong than to take out number one yet again? 184 and a half. Nice. Good luck, boys. <laughs>
I'm thank proud you. Of you. You guys are the best. <laughs> Don't make me cry already, please. <laughs> Getting to talk to my family was uh, a gift for sure right now. Definitely a nice surprise. How's school going for you two? You doing good? Good. Yeah. Not arguing with mama? Yeah. No. <laughs> Got her said yeah. Well, at least you're honest, Bubba Bears. I'll take it. Uh, on the call was my beautiful wife, Chelsea, uh, my oldest, my daughter, uh, Aubrey, uh, my middle son, uh, Gunner Levi, and my youngest, uh, Gatlin John. Put up the gun show, bro. Let me see what you're working with. Boom! How about you? How are you doing? I'm just as strong as missing you. I know, I miss you too. Everybody was doing good. They were doing really great back home. You know, the kids, obviously, they've grown since I've been gone. Bye. I'm missing that part, but we all know I'm, I'm out doing something bigger and better for not just my future, but for theirs also. <laughs> Look, it's Jesse! <laughs> yeah. How's it going? We miss you a lot. I miss you guys so much too. I got to see my woman and my four kids. Very emotional. I've never been away from my kids for that long. I miss you so much. I miss you too. I, love you. I miss all you guys so much. I'm so proud of you. Um, mom and dad say they're super proud of you. Not hearing from you is amazing because we're like, obviously that means a good thing. <laughs> I got one match left. Yay. Okay, what do you want to say, Anita? You say I love you? I love you too. I love, I love you, Dad. You, Dad. Mwah. I love you guys. This is my humble abode. It's a little messy. Got four kids, so that's how that goes. I live up in uh, Ferndale, Washington. Um, we live in a three bedroom, three bath townhouse right now. This is my girlfriend, Olivia. Me and my woman have been together for about two and a half years. She's super sweet. Are you gonna miss me for the next three weeks? Absolutely not. <laughs> we have nothing in common with each other, but it makes it work so perfectly. But we co-parent better than I've ever seen anybody co-parent in my life, and we never fight, which is amazing. I love you. I love you too. Why are you staring at the camera, not at me? Mm -hmm. Look at me. Okay. I have two five-year-olds, a six-year-old, and a seven-year-old, so I fit right along with them. And all in all, I try to be the funnest dad as possible. My family means everything to me. Like, their, they, their support through this is the greatest feeling ever. Are you excited for me? Mm -hmm. You know I'm leaving for three weeks, right? Yeah. You gonna be happy to see me go? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have you see me go? Yeah. You're gonna miss me? Mm -hmm. You're gonna miss me too? Yeah. My biggest hope for all this is financial security, being able to bring that belt home, being able to be champion, and who knew that getting slapped in the face would bring me greatness. <laughs> Mr. John Davis is the second best 185er to me, and I do not fear anybody that stands on the other side of me. Evelyn, Annika, Henry, Harrison, Olivia. So I do this for. That's why I don't get knocked back and I don't get knocked down. Got my kids and my woman on my side all the time. I got the best chin in the business. As long as my chin holds up, it's gonna be a great fight. I've always found myself being a little bit different than most people, a little bit aggressive and maybe some anger issues here and there. But it's one of those things that if you can learn to control it, I can use that. Oh, beautiful. Against my competitors. It's where I get to let it out of the cage. You know, I can completely unleash and, you know, go ham. People should care about watching me compete because I'm the most fun loving there is. It's Jesse versus John, and we're gonna have a great time out there. Let's make a fight of the night. Number one, man, number one. I am absolutely ready to unleash on Jesse. And, you know, as fun and as good a time as we usually have together, it's, 
it's business when we get up there, and we both know that. Jesse, I know you're out there looking to have a good time, but you better bring heat when you meet me at the table, son. Competitors in the center. Okay. Red corner has won the toss and elected to go first. On what hand and what uh, hand will you Left be striking? Two. Left on two. One. Two. Mm. Yeah. Fair. Eat that. Yeah. Big trouble. You're right in my ear hole, yeah. Yeah, I know, man. It's all good. Chalks all the way up here. Not even touching his chin. Round one, slap two. Right on three. Right on three from blue. Seven, eight. Talk to me, right here. You good? All right. Let's go. Come on, Jesse. How you doing here? I'm good. You good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody in your positions. Round two. Which hand and what Left count? On Left on two. Keep it fair. Watch his ear. One. Yeah, Fair. Round two. You got 30 seconds. You need more time? You get here? No, sir. Right on three. Right on three. One. Two. Woo! Fair. Way to eat it. Yes, sir. You got this. Give him everything Jesse. you got. Make, everything you got. Make a slap before your body, not just a hand. He's not your friend in here. He ain't hitting you like he's your friend. You good here, sir? I'm good. OK, round three. Left on two. Left hand on two. One. Fair. Slap two, round three. Right on three. Right on three, right on three. One. Two. Oh. Way to eat it. Fair. Yeah. Good? All right, guys. That's it. Match. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah, bro. John Davis ended up rocking. Jesse really, really bad. You know, I feel like he might have been a standing KO, but the way Jesse just powered through that was super, super amazing, and he recovered and you know ended up having an amazing fight. Mr. Davis pulled it out. He had three nice hits, three clean hits, and you know he didn't make a mistake. He he did great. Hey guys, let me just have you center up. Okay, have you center up here, guys. Winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Davis. I feel great. I'm super excited to get another win. I uh, keep my number one spot, at least hopefully at the moment, and hopefully, you know, on, on the way to the top from here. Um, I wish I had more power, because I feel very drained, but I'm going to get that call back. I'll be better, and I'm ready to destroy. John Davis, the new number one ranked middleweight, proved that he belongs here. He has absolutely one of the best chins of anyone in this competition. Unless one of these other fighters just blows me away, it looks like John Davis has locked a spot in for the finale. That was an impressive win. We are off to a badass start in these second round of fights. And I'm guessing 
as we head toward the finish line, things are going to get even more exciting. On the next episode of Power Slap Road to the Title. I'm going to put you to sleep in the bathroom, boy. You're a scared ass bitch. We can go. The pressure of the competition becomes too much as Slap Jesus and Chris Thomas come to blows at the house. Then it's the final four fights. First up, resident bad boy Aziel Rodriguez tries to back up his smack talk at the house. I'm going to break your jaw. I don't give a who you are. I'm going to you up. Standing in Aziel's way, his bitter rival, Kari Sarcher. I'm about to put your little ass to bed. I'm not playing no games with you. Night, night. Number three welterweight, Jules Scott, hits the stage. Oh! I'm ready to eat. Against young gun, Jesus Gaspar. You haven't faced no one as tough as me. Light heavyweight, Vern Cathy, finally gets his turn in the spotlight. You're going to get your ass knocked out. But who will he face? Then finally. You're going to get it, boy. Daddy should have whooped you. Two of the top strikers in any division. Welterweights Chris Thomas and Slap Jesus Michael Smith look to settle their beef in an epic battle. I'm a line. I'm the Leo. I'm the line, bitch. Who will slap their way to victory? Secure a spot in the live finale. Greatest slap of all time. And move one step closer to the first ever Power Slap World Title.